welcome back to my channel long time don't see yes you guys read that title down below correctly we are moving to texas dallas texas to be specific so i'm gonna update you guys catch you up to where we are now and let you know all the deets we've had so many things going on it's been so busy around here so this is going to be my little update to get you guys caught up to what we've been up to okay so let's start out last year we got an opportunity to uh transfer with my husband's work to the dallas texas area um before we made any hard decisions we wanted to go check out the um, the suburbs around it just to see if this was a, a state a town an area that we could see raising our family and having brooklyn in particular grow up because you know my oldest he graduated from high school so we just wanted to see is this a place that we could bring our family we went in October 2021. We headed out to Dallas, Texas. We had done some research and pinpointed different suburbs that we wanted to check out and look at and see if we could, we like the feel, the vibe, and if it was something, a place we would want to buy a home and raise our family. So we headed out, like I said, um, and we actually fell in love. We fell in love with the people were super nice. Um, I love the feel of the different towns that we visited and we fell in love with one suburb that's not too far outside of Dallas um, in particular. We like loved it. We loved the little town. It had kind of a country feel, but it wasn't far from the city. So we thought, okay, that is the town that we want to live in. We spent some days there. We went to, we visited the schools. We visited the different houses. And we thought this was a great town that we could raise our family and have Brooklyn kind of grow up. So we came back to California. We said we would sleep on it a little bit and we wouldn't make any hard decisions until the holidays because we had Disney plan we had a bunch of stuff that we were doing and you know all of the fun holiday activities so we kind of sat on it a little bit even though we were looking at different realtors and all of that fun stuff um, come January 2022 and then we we had decided that yes we're going to go to Texas. We're going to do the transfer with my husband's work and we are going to make this our new home. Um, we had looked at, found different realtors and had spoke to a few different people that we were going back and forth and seeing if those were people that we wanted to go with to help us find our home. Because it's just a different circumstance to not live in a town and to or live in a state and to search for a home. It's like so different. Um, we found a realtor company and I will link them down below. No, this video is not sponsored that we actually absolutely loved. And we felt like they would be good. They had worked with tons of out of state clients, in particular, a ton of people moving from California to Texas, and they could help us nav navigate us and steer us in the right direction. So when we first started looking for homes, I was just, we are buying a home in Texas. So when we first started looking, I was just kind of going back and forth. I thought, oh, I wanted to move in an existing home and just do some remodeling. And then more and more of the homes that he would send, our realtor would send us tons and tons of homes like every single day. And that would kind of be our nighttime routine. We would look through the homes. We had planned a trip to go out there to visit. So we had told our realtor that as well, that we would be out at a certain time to visit and we could see if anything like really sparked our interest. But we were looking at a ton of homes, writing in notes so he could more fine tune him and his team like what we were particularly looking for. And then after looking at a ton of homes, remember I came into this process thinking, okay, I want it like a fixer upper and um, I was going to go that direction because I like to do, you know, a lot of the fixtures and finishes and things that they put into a home mm, aren't my cup of tea. I would want to change them. So I thought I wanted a fixer upper. Um, 
at this point, the market was getting crazy, but not like crazy, crazy. And then in Texas compared to Cali, the prices are frankly like so much better. You're going to get way more for your money than you can in California. Um, it's just the way it is. You know, we have beautiful weather all the time. You're paying more for the climate, close proximity to beaches, that kind of stuff than the actual homes in California. So we had hearted a new build. There were a few new builds. I put them on like a new build community. I had hearted a few um, because after looking at stuff, I knew I wanted like a lighter kitchen and granite and all this stuff. Like I wanted newer fixtures and I was like, I'm moving to a new state. We're not going to know anybody. Like I didn't know if moving to a new state, I wanted to tackle, um, fixing up a home in a place, a state that I'm not familiar and comfortable with. So the way it was kind of leaning and the things I was liking were more leaning towards like a newer home built. But I understood in Texas, the market was getting just as crazy as in California. And some new home builds, you were going to be on a wait list for multiple years. And in my town or area I wanted to live in I knew they did have a lot of new home builds um, but the wait lists were really long and it just was it was kind of daunting so I had hearted a new home that I like they had like a 3d mock-up it wasn't even a the home and it would be done around the same time that we were we needed to move where he needed to start um, at the new offices. So I had hearted it, but didn't think much of it. A realtor said he didn't know much about that builder, but he was heading out there um, to check it out. He's actually from the town that we are lit moving into. He grew up in that town, you know, went from there from K through high school. So he had graduated in that town and all that stuff. So he knows a lot about the town that we're moving in. So we fast forward to a few weeks later. It's like a Sunday. My husband and my son, my son is like driving out with my husband. They were going to run errands. And my husband gives me a call because all the houses, like I like them that we were seeing, but I wasn't in love with anything. And he had said, babe, I sent you some information. I'm on the phone with our realtor and the builder's going to call us, but there came up an opportunity for us to get in this new build home. So I pulled up all the information he had sent me. And it was one that I had hearted. <laughs> it was the home that I have hearted. And our realtor was like, I think your wife hearted this home, but she wanted more information about it. This was the home in the community that was going to be brand new, but our house would be done at the time that we needed to move when my husband needed to start work. Um, so... I went, I pulled up all the stuff. My husband and my son got home. We pulled up all the information. The builder wind up calling us. Everything kind of happened so rapidly, rapidly. We had to make decisions. So I literally, guys, I bought a home. I mean, granted, the home wasn't even built yet, but I bought a home that we had never seen. And I had been in the town and drove around the town, but I didn't know like this particular area and these particular neighborhoods. And I'm super picky about like all that stuff. Like I look at the neighbor's car next door. Like I'm a crazy person. Like I want to know like what they have in their backyard. Like, is it clean? And I'm just, I'm just crazy about like everything. So we had to move really quick and we talked to the builder and we looked at like, all of the HOA stuff, because it's community with the HOA, and I knew Brooklyn really wanted an area with a splash pad, and she wanted like it to look like Disneyland um, at like the area that we lived in. So this area had all of that stuff, and everything was going to be brand new. I looked at the packages for the different houses. A lot of times during during COVID, a lot of the builders, bigger builders, did things a little bit differently. I'll, our builder has like 17 packages instead of you going and choosing a bunch of materials. They just want to make sure that with how everything is that the homes can be done in the time allotted and that they have those materials on hand and things are like easily that they can get. So yeah, 
crazy experience. Um, not sure I would tell people to do that, but it all worked out. So flash forward, we start getting our builder, they do like weekly updates. So we start getting weekly updates and we had another friend of my husband's that works with him that his family was also transferring out there and they had bought our house and their house is only about 14 minutes from ours. So his friend traveled out, he went to our neighborhood. So he really got to give us the deets because you know, like realtors and we love them. We, you know, you try to pick people that you trust, but you want to know like somebody that you really know. So he went out to our neighborhood. He said it was beautiful. He took pictures of our house. At this point, it was like studs. So you're not seeing very much. <laughs> there were like studs and posts. So um, he took pictures of all of that stuff for us. And he said like every time he would go, he would try to keep us updated. But our builder, they also do weekly updates. So it's typically a phone call and then they'll have pictures associated with that. And then our realtor will do updates as well and send you pictures. So we have Tons of people sending us pictures. So that kind of like eases your mind a little bit and to know like, okay, I made the right decisions. So um, after our friend had gone out, my husband's friend had gone out and checked out everything, we were feeling like a bit better and then we were getting our weekly updates. So our house was making a lot of progress and um, moving along. Um, like I was saying before, for like COVID reasons, you're picking packages, so your materials are there, they're available. Um, I, you guys are gonna kind of be shocked. I chose something different, like we're going with something different than I thought I would go with. I feel like the feel of this house, our new house is gonna be more like, still kind of my rustic feel, but with a lot of modern touches, and I'm just excited to decorate a new home and all of that. So besides the house stuff, that's all going great. I usually will give like updates as we get them on Instagram um, to update you guys. But the current home that we are in, um, we've been getting that ready, like packing that stuff up and getting ready to move out of our current home. So um, I'm gonna pan you guys around in just a little bit and show you the look of everything and how everything is looking. We have boxes piled up downstairs. We've gotten rid of like some key pieces in my home that I loved, but we're just gonna go in a different direction. And I'm just excited for all the new and everything that's gonna be coming and happening and all of that. We did take a trip out in October and we got to like, be in our house and see it in the flesh. We got to drive down our street um, and we are so excited and we took kind of a risk and a gamble buying a house like unseen but granted there was no house to see but um, we're so excited like I just can't wait guys. It's going to be so cute, so pretty. As I'm speaking right now we are in final inspections like I can't believe it and um like our final punch list and stuff so we are almost completely done with our house we close in a few weeks and i am so excited i love the town that we picked i love the people that we've met and i think it's just going to be such a good and great experience for brooklyn to grow up some major life changes like i said my husband will be transferring jobs but i will be staying at home i'll see how i like that for a little bit you guys know i have been in the education field my whole life i have a master's in education so i'll see how i enjoy that i felt that I have working like a full-time job. If you are a fellow working mama like I am, it's like hard and I feel like I try my very best but I miss out on things. I don't wanna start like tearing up and I just want to enjoy the stage and age that we are in in Brooklyn's life. Um, I stayed at home when my oldest 
Um, I stayed at home like a year and a half, but I was getting my master's. So it wasn't like truly staying at home. So now I'm ready to embrace that and just to see how much I like it. And this to do other things in my life that set my heart on fire. I have loved immensely my job and my career thus far, but I'm ready for like a new chapter and to embark on all of that. So yes, new house is almost done. This house we're almost out of. Um, I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom. And yeah, we are just so many new things. This is update number one. Like I said, I'll show you a house update really quick. And that will be it for this video. So let me flip you guys around and show you everything that we've taken down and done in the house. So you guys know I've done so many like tap to clean, so many of that stuff, but all of our decor is taken down. It's just kind of down to the bare bones. Window treatments have been taken down. It's kind of echoey in here because everything is kind of down. Let's head to the closet. I'll show you what I've been working on there. And then closet, I still have a few more weeks left to work and my husband literally works up until the day before the moving trucks come so we still have clothes hung up but i've actually packed four boxes so this is just what's left and then up here my area is kind of empty but we have what's left of my husband's stuff and then none of those bins those were from the dollar tree we've had those for a while none of those are going and then i just have like some shoes left and then my husband has a few shoes left and the back here is pretty empty so that's good remember my dresses were all in there but we don't have much left here rookie's room all the decor is down um this thing isn't coming with us her bed is but she's getting a new bed and then um, walls are empty her dresser still there and then I'll show you in her closet we've probably packed three or four boxes of the kids rooms each so back here is empty we still have all these clothes though and some shoes So we've packed a ton but we have a ton left to pack and then some backpacks her little nap mat for school all oh, this is empty we do have still some everyday headbands in there and then these are like all her because the fourth of july will be coming up all of those ones and then other big ones that she likes and then some blankets in the bottom part but her closet like i said we've packed about four boxes in here but this is all the stuff that is left i'll show you her drawers too so we're down to this for this drawer we've packed up a lot of bows see we've packed up some of like the pants or I've decluttered and given them away these are just like shorts and then we packed up some pajamas and these are just the pajamas that we kept out so yeah this room these are just the clothes that we have left there the other side is empty. So in our front room, our table's gone. It's so echoey in here. We have all these boxes, our folding table, and then all the decor is adios and gone. Outside, we donated like um, items to Habitat for Humanity. So our patio set's gone. We just have these that we're taking. All of Brooklyn's playhouse, play toys, all of that stuff. That I mean, that stuff is gone. We just gave it for free for a family, um, for another family to enjoy. So. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little update. I know it was very chatty, but I will be doing more like packing because even though we've got a big chunk done, we still have so much more to do. And let me know down in the comments below any questions you want answered, any anything you're inquiring about. I will answer those in my next video. 
um, my next update video. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you very soon, I promise, with an old one. Bye guys.